All right, welcome everybody. We're going to get started now. Thank you for joining us for introduction to MC Canada. We're so excited. We just recently launched the MC in Canada, and hopefully all of you guys are just as excited as we are to learn more about it. So like I mentioned before, my name is June Kong. I am the product marketing manager here at Meraki for Meraki Communications, this entire line of communications products. And I'm joined in the room by my colleague, Paul Kramer, on the product management team for the MC as well. So between the two of us, we should be able to answer all of your questions and anything that you want to know about the MC. On top of that, we're just very excited to be talking to you. Uh, we just launched this last Tuesday. And so this is the very first time that we are training customers, um, talking to you guys, and trying to you know get you excited about MC as much as we are. So count yourselves lucky. You guys are part of the first team that we're training. And um, please feel free to use this time as a kind of answer, um, answer gathering two-way conversation, as opposed to just a one-way where we're presenting to you. Um, please feel free to use the chat box or the Q&A box on the side to let us know what questions you're curious about. And that way, we can tailor this to what you actually want to know instead of, you know, just saying things at you for an hour. So getting started, uh, we have a quick intro at the beginning for any of you that aren't as familiar with Meraki and what we do. We'll talk a little bit about cloud networking, and then we're going to dive really deep into Meraki communications. So this is a MC-specific webinar. Um, hopefully, you guys already know that. If you're here for another product, we're really not going to be covering anything around any of our other product lines today. So hopefully you're in the right place. Uh, stick around even if you aren't. Maybe you'll learn something. We do have a dedicated Q&A time at the end, but what I actually like to do is do something called live polling. So when you see a blue slide like this, this is a polling slide. And in the future, you're going to have slides like this that have questions on them. And when they have one, I would really like to see you guys post something in the Q&A box or in the chat box, and Paul will be going through and looking at them, answering them. This is really a way for us to get feedback from you and to see kind of what your deployments are like. And this way, we can iterate on the product, make it better for all of our customers, and just know a better product in general. So blue slides, polling slides, keep that in mind. A little bit about Cisco Meraki. So most of the people that know us um, know us that we know us as Cisco's cloud networking group. And what that means is that we make hardware products that are managed completely in the cloud. So when you have products like wireless, security, switching, phones, enterprise mobility management, and security cameras, which are all of our products. Um, when you have those devices, you just have the devices themselves, and you completely control and manage them from the cloud. So it's the same story with the access point as it is with the switch, as it is with a phone, which is what Meraki MC is. And uh, you plug on-site, and there's no other on-site hardware. So with phones, that means there's no PBX. There's no um, additional phone switches that you need. You plug these phones into normal network switches. They talk to our cloud. They make calls. It's very simple, very easy, and an extremely hard thing to do, uh, something that we've spent 10 years perfecting here at Meraki, this kind of distributed cloud-managed IT system. We are a leader in cloud networking. Uh, hopefully, everybody that knows cloud networking knows the Meraki name. But really, we're among Cisco's fastest growing portfolio. And we have over 140,000, I actually think it's over 150,000 now, but unique customers. So we have over 2 million Meraki devices online. So those are just access points, switches, security appliances, et cetera. If you start looking at all of the devices that Systems Manager actually manages, which is our client management device or client management software product, um, that number actually jumps to 12 million. So 2 million are just Meraki IT devices. Uh, and what this really speaks to is how widespread and distributed our systems are, and also how kind of robust our systems are that we've been able to develop over the last 10 years to support such a wide network of products. 
lastly, uh, just a last little bit of intro, we have something called out-of-band cloud management. And what this means is that when you plug a device in, and let's say, you know, you guys get really excited after this webinar and you say, hey, I want to try some phones out for my sales rep. You talk to your sales rep and you order a phone and a license. The sales rep sends you, starts shipping you that phone, and also sends you an order number. Right when they send you that order number in the email, you can claim that on dashboard. You can go in and say, you know, I want my phones to have this phone number, and I want my IVRs to do this, and I want this, and you design your entire network, all while your phone is shipping to you. or even better, shipping to a remote location. So I've gone in, designed my phone network. Whenever that phone gets to its actual location, as long as somebody's there to plug it in, the phone will present itself to dashboard, say, hey, what's my phone number? What are my configurations? Download those configurations and start making calls immediately. So what that means is you can set up a phone network without ever having to touch any of the phones. As long as somebody is on site to plug them in, you can do all the designing configuration from your couch, from your desk, from your headquarters, and ship those phones anywhere in the world, uh, and they will work. Additionally, this makes it extremely reliable. We have multiple data centers throughout the entire world. Each device reaches out to multiple data centers. It's also extremely scalable because you're no longer bottlenecked by a single point of hardware failure. There's no single PBX. There's no single thing that is bottlenecking your network, and you can now deploy the same. It's the same process to deploy one phone as it is 10,000 phones. So we are finally to the cloud-managed communication section. And if you guys have any questions, I see Paul typing furiously uh, next to me, so I'm sure that some people are asking questions, which is exactly what we want. But we're actually coming on our first poll question, which is for all of you guys in Canada, have you ever seen an MC74 in real life? I'm going to give you a couple seconds to answer this. Um, just a quick yes or no in the chat box or in the Q&A panel. I just want to get a gauge of how many of you have seen one, whether that's in Cisco Live. Yeah, we have one Cisco Live. Um, whether it's in a, norm, a Cisco office near you or if you've ever come to the Meraki office, Awesome, we have some people from Cisco Live. This is very exciting. I'm gonna give you guys a few more seconds to post. Awesome, so we've gotten some really great responses. It looks like the majority of people are saying no, they haven't seen it, but the ones that have, have seen it at Cisco Live, which is very exciting because um, if you've stopped by our booth at Cisco Live, it's very possible that I've actually spoken to you about the phones. I generally tend to stand near the phones whenever we have a Cisco Live and uh, talk to customers. So this is all very exciting, and hopefully you've seen it and been able to kind of see how simple and easy it is to use. Um, and we're going to talk about that more today. But like I said, if you guys have any questions that you haven't been able to have answered, please feel free to ask them. I'm going to try and answer them um, along the way. But really, the way to think about this MC in general is that we are bringing the Meraki way to communications. And that really means a few different things. But the biggest part of that is that it's so much simpler and it's a completely new way to think about communications. So for all of you guys that have decades of you know, communications and collaboration experience, we totally respect that. We think that there's 
so much to be learned in the communications and collaboration industry. Um, and this is really just kind of a supplement to that that is for a different model of customer, right? So if you, are, as a customer, are looking for uh, very simple, easy to deploy, the whole Meraki story, we're offering you that option with our MC74. And the only three things that you need for the MC74 are below. Internet, phone license, and SIP service. And what this means is that there's nothing else, really. Uh, I can't hammer this home enough. There's nothing else that you need to roll out an entire phone deployment. Internet connectivity makes sense, right? You need to be connected to the internet to have VoIP phones because the VoIP packets travel over the internet. But what we can also offer you with internet connectivity is the ability to have advanced visibility into voice quality of your network. And this is something that we're able to provide because as Meraki, we're so close to the network and that's really um, where a lot of our other products operate. We can give you visibility into things that are happening on your phone calls because of the network. And I'll show more of this later in the demo, but if this is interesting to you, if you want to proactively, proactively excuse me, optimize your voice network, we have the solution for you. Additionally, you'll need a phone and a license. So the Meraki model of MC74 and license um, still stands. We have a one license to one device policy. Licenses give you two-year hardware warranty, enterprise support for the duration of the license, new features, firmware updates, security updates, um, the whole package. You need a license per phone, but the license is really the service that you get on top of the hardware, and it also gives you access to dashboard. Um, additionally, the phone plugs into any normal network switch, so there's no additional like phone switches that you have to buy. There's no additional hardware that you have to buy. It's just the phones and the licenses. Lastly, Telnex service. So what Telnex service is, is our preferred SIP provider in Canada. And when you go into Dashboard, you'll see a page that says phone numbers. And on that page, you can sign up for SIP service. Purchase phone numbers, port your numbers over, and that is how you get connected to the PSTN. So if you think about it like a cell phone, your cell phone or smartphone needs also connectivity to the um, to the uh, excuse me the public switch tel telephony network, and that is where your service provider comes in. So, Telnex is our service provider in Canada at this point, and they allow you to order phone numbers right through Dashboard and make phone calls seconds after ordering your numbers. Like I mentioned before, these are the only three things you need. You can, hopefully you already have internet connectivity, but you can buy um, the MCs and the licenses from Rocky. You purchase the SIP service and dashboard, and that's all you'll need to roll out a phone deployment. The phone itself, and some of you know this, uh, the phone itself is an absolutely incredible piece of hardware. And we actually have um, two USB ports, we have a pass-through port on the back, gigabit, we have this beautiful high-resolution touchscreen across the, pretty much the length of the phone. And this phone, design-wise, is one of the most intuitive and easiest to use phones in the world. Customers and, you know, even employees within Meraki will constantly come up to me and say, this is so easy to use. My two-year-old actually knows how to make a call or all of these funny anecdotes. It's really, it's hard to believe really until you've seen it in person, but we've put so much time and effort into the design and the user experience and the user interaction design of the phone that I really believe that it is the easiest to use phone in the entire world. But on top of easy to use, 
it's actually also incredibly robust and very, very um, durable. So the whole front of the phone is a screen, but it's a tempered glass screen to the point where we've actually hit it with baseball bats, uh, we've thrown it off of cliffs, and we've done all of this in the name of quality assurance, of course. Um, but it actually, it survives very well. There's no real concerns of it being in any way gradual or, you know, not durable. Additionally, we also have a two-year hardware replacement. Um, generally, the industry standard for phones is one year because people are always, you know, touching them, playing with them. They're one of the most frequently destroyed kind of products. We really believe in the robustness of this product, and we've actually doubled the hardware replacement warranty because of that. All right, so we're now on our second polling question, and I love these because I get to hear from you guys and see what you're thinking. But what kind of system are you running today? Is it cloud? Is it on-prem? Um, are you even just using cell phones? I'm going to give you a few seconds to post and we will be back in just a few seconds. Awesome. So you guys have given us so many different options. This is very exciting. Um, just to clarify, if the poll question is just a basic question, and um, the idea is that you enter your answer into the chat or the Q&A box. So don't worry if you see other people's or, you know, if you're not sure how it's working, just type your answer into one of those boxes. We're reading all of them as they come through, and so as long as you type them, we'll see them. Awesome. Um, so moving forward, it sounds like mm, a lot of people are on on-prem solutions with some people um, going in a kind of hybrid between cloud and cell phones. And if you guys are here today, hopefully you are interested and, you know, curious about the Meraki story. But what other customers have chosen the MC74 for are um, reasons like intuitive centralized management distributed organizations, and no training. So what this means is the same kind of dashboard interface that you're used to with our other products, you're still going to get with the phones. The MC74s fit right into dashboard. You don't have to manage multiple solutions for your wireless, for your, um, for your, sorry, for your network, and then for your phones. So you can do it all in one network in a very intuitive and easy-to-use platform. Additionally, we're also designed for distributed organizations. So a lot of the features that we've built, a lot of the kind of workflows that you go through with Meraki are significantly um, improved over the workflows that you would go through with other solutions if you have a distributed organization. Things like single pane of glass visibility, zero, on zero touch site provisioning, um, and firmware updates are all extremely easy to do 
whether you're on, you know, in Toronto, Vancouver, wherever your different um, offices are, you can do them from anywhere in the world. Additionally, I touched on this before, but really this is the easiest to use phone system in the world. It's extremely intuitive, both from an end user and an IT professional perspective. So not only have we considered and thought through the design on the phone side, we've also done the same with the dashboard management side. So it's extremely easy to use. You don't have to go around giving people manuals. You don't have to hold phone system trainings anymore. Uh, you just give them a phone. It looks like a smartphone. It acts like a smartphone. They can make phone calls immediately. So this is the last poll question before the demo. And so just please enter a quick little answer. How long does it take you to deploy your current phone system? Weeks, months, this means um, ordering to making a phone call. So ordering phone service, ordering the phones, ordering everything to making your first phone call. Perfect. So we've gotten some really great responses, um, and I'm actually going to jump now into the demo. It looks like a lot of people are saying that, you know, it took weeks or um, between days and weeks, which is very exciting. With us, hopefully we can do it in seconds and minutes. Um, so I'm going to jump now into the demo, and bear with me. There we go. Um, for any of you that haven't seen Dashboard before, I'm going to give you a really quick overview. Really, this is the Meraki Dashboard. Um, you can log into this from the meraki.cisco.com website. And when you first log in, you're actually going to go into your organization's network-wide page. Um, the page that you saw before was just a list of demo networks that I can show you guys. But really, this is our San Francisco office. And you'll see on the side all of our different products that we use in our office here. And phones are integrated into them. So I can go to phones and see a list of all of the different MC74s in my office. We have them in each of our conference rooms. So these are all the conference room phones. And right away, you can see that you get the same kind of visibility into the dashboard as you would with any of our other products. So I can go in and configure this to see, you know, public IPs, um, contact names, extensions, the last time that, you know, a phone was unreachable, any kind of alerts that are on there. And this is just a very high level view into what my network is doing um, and only my phone network. However, if I want a really high level view of my entire network, phones, wireless, wired, what I have is this great feature called topology. And topology gives me this high view of everything in my network. So this is my switches, my cameras, my phones, and I can collapse these to make them a little bit more uh, viewable. Or I can really dig in and see what's happening 
in a certain region of my office. So let's say I want to find these two alerting switches and figure out what's wrong. When I click them, they're highlighted, and I can go in and see this switch has an offline power supply, but it doesn't have any phones behind it, so I don't have to worry. And this switch is using the wrong IP. That's fine. There's no phones behind it. My phone network isn't affected. So this kind of visibility is given to you with the Meraki full stack. You need a switch to have a feature like this. Um, but the phones themselves are also great products by themselves. So what I can do is go in and say, you know, let's go look at this phone, this specific phone. And I'm brought back into the phones tab. And I see this kind of detailed view of this exact phone. So right away, you'll see that you get the contact name, public number, extension. You can even configure things like ring duration and custom caller ID. So if you want this phone to ring longer or shorter, you can go in and say, you know, instead of 16 seconds, I want a 32 second ring, etc. I can also go in and say, well, actually, this phone needs to manage multiple different phone numbers. And I can go in and add up to five different, or excuse me, no, eight different phone numbers um, and apply them all to this phone. So now this phone will receive and be able to make calls from any of these eight different phone numbers. I can also go in and say, you know, I'm actually, this is a live phone in my office, and I am just realizing this, but um, it's very possible that somebody's actually can call on this. And so if I go in and want to configure things like the public number or changing the contact, I should first check if anybody's using this phone. It doesn't look like anybody is, which is great. And I can tell that because I have this screenshot tool where I take a screenshot of the phone as it stands right there. And what I can now do is go in and reboot the device. So it's rebooting the phone. My screenshot should go away. There we go. So the phone's rebooting right now. When it's done, the screenshot will come back. Um, these are all live tools that I have to debug anything that does go wrong with my phone. Hopefully nothing does, but in case that something you know, is funky or isn't working on my network, I have this really great suite of tools in addition to my Meraki network-wide tools that I can use to debug and to fix anything that, you know, might be wrong. Jumping back into the summary page, this is really a high-level view of everything that the phone has been doing and its connectivity um, in the last however long. So it looks like connectivity-wise, you know, this phone has been doing great. There's nothing wrong with it. I can actually also see this average call loss chart. And what this is is when I was speaking earlier about proactively optimizing my network, this is what I was talking about. I can go through each of my phones and look at the call loss and packet loss in, uh, on average for all of the calls that they're making. So I can see that, you know, for however long, um, this phone is really, I mean, it has almost 0% packet loss. It's making really good quality calls. Um, I don't have to worry about anything. But if I jump to another phone that maybe has a little bit of a worse connection to the network, And let's see, what about this one? Uh, this phone has almost a 0.1% packet loss average in the last couple of days. And I can see that it's been going up recently. And it's possible that, you know, maybe the switch that it's connected to has recently got a lot more clients. Maybe there's something wrong, something happening on my network. And if this were a little bit more significant, this would be a good way for me to go in and proactively check and make sure that the phone call quality is good um, and is 
<clears throat> excuse me, isn't going to be a problem. Additionally, I can also go in through this call history box and see my loss percentages. And if there's a call with, you know, a significant percentage of loss, I can go in and click on it to get this chart. And this is our call details, um, call loss details chart. And what it gives me is an actual time-based view of the packet loss and jitter on this call. And so I can see that right here there was a in jitter, but almost no packet loss. So maybe the call sounded a little bit garbled, but you could still hear sound. And towards the end, there were a couple spikes in packet loss where maybe there were um, just periods where, you know, you couldn't hear maybe a word, maybe a couple, like, maybe a sentence was dropped. But all of this is under, you know, 1% packet loss and 6 milliseconds jitter, which means that I really don't have to worry at this point. However, if these numbers were bigger, if there were other issues at play, this chart gives me a really good overview into everything happening on my network, once again, so I can proactively fix any issues. So this is all, this is the, um, the phone overview. And now I want to take you guys through how quickly I can deploy one phone. So I'm going to go into my organization excuse me, organization inventory. And these are just all of the uh, different products, different things that I own. And here is a phone that's just floating around. So, you know, in your case, you would likely purchase these phones, add them to your inventory. Hopefully you don't have all of these devices just hanging out, not doing anything. We here at Meraki have a few test devices. so. Um, once I've claimed this into my inventory, I'm actually just going to add it to my network, Meraki San Francisco. I'm going to add to existing. And There we go. Add to existing. Oh, well, this is the fun part about a live demo, guys. There's always something that could potentially go a little bit funny. Um, but let's just say I've added it to my network already. Let's not worry about it. And it's in my list of phones. So let's see. Let's say I've added it to... Say it's this phone. I'm actually just going to delete this contact. So now it's essentially a fresh phone. I'm going to copy this address so that I have it. This is the phone that I want. Once again, it does not have a contact. It does not have a number assigned to it. Um, we can even delete these tags if we want just to make sure it's a really uh, clear phone. So the first thing that I do once I come into, once I uh, add my phones to my network, is I'm going to make a contact for them. So I'm going to go into the directory and say, this is Canada webinar, just for you guys. And I'm just going to save this. And... Now that I have this, there we go. I can go in and add a title to it. I can say uh, Canadian webinar. Sorry, this is bad grammar. Canadian webinar um, VP of what do I want to be the VP of? VP of Canada. And I can also go in and add a contact image, et cetera. Um, and I did this manually, but as you'll notice, you can do things like Google directory, upload a CSV, or you can actually go in and in our help API docs, 
you can write your own script for uploading and changing directory contacts. So we do give you the option to change all of this through the API. But let's just say I've already made the, can uh, the contact and I can go in and assign a phone here. This takes me back to the phones page. I look for the phone that I had before and I just assign this, the contact that I just made. Now you'll notice I don't have a public number and that's because I currently have not ordered one yet. Um, that would be through the phone's phone number page, which I will show later. Um, but when you have phone numbers, you'll go in and say, you know, assign a public phone number, choose the numbers like I showed you before, set an extension, so let's just do 5083, and save. Once it saves, that phone has that number. It can make calls, everything to that number. Um, there you go. And it takes about 30 seconds for that phone to pull its configuration. But after that, it'll make calls, receive calls, everything. There is one part that I didn't show in this, and that was the ordering phone numbers process. We're actually going to jump to that um, in after a few more slides. So please bear with me, and we will be back in the demo shortly. There we go. Can everybody see this? Awesome. So one thing that um, I haven't shown you yet, and hopefully not sure if we'll be able to, but the every phone comes with a end user portal. And in this end user portal, it is designed for end users, but anybody with access to a MC74. So anybody with a phone on their desk has the ability to sign up for the portal. And in the portal, they can do things like check their call logs, check their voicemail inbox, set call forwarding, look at their contacts. Um, and really, it's remote management for their phones, but without giving end users access to dashboard. It's a simplified dashboard that they can control just their phone and nothing else. Because, you know, as IT professionals, there's a lot of detail on dashboard that end users probably don't need to see. And this way, they can still get remote access and use their phones um, through any browser. So whether that's soft, uh, excuse me, that whether that's um, cell phones or laptops or you know anything with a browser. Also, we are constantly releasing new feature updates. So since launch, um, this has gone through multiple different iterations and has added a lot of different features to it. So things like voicemail to email, the cloud connectivity icon, um, dashboard Jira latency stat statistics, excuse me, that you saw earlier, call groups, announcements, uh, multiple line support, call parking, et cetera. There's been a lot of different feature releases for this phone, and we're quickly iterating on the product, adding more features that customers are asking for and really just trying to provide more value to your product um, and make the product even better, do more things, um, all while keeping it very simple to use and very intuitive to manage. So we're actually gonna jump to our next poll question. And this one's a great one. And I'm going to give you a few more, uh, a few minutes to answer this one. But what is the biggest challenge, oops, when it comes to your phone systems today? There we go. What is the biggest challenge when it comes to your phone systems today? What are the things that, you know, you struggle with? What would you like Meraki to be able to do for you? I'm going to give you a couple minutes to answer this, and we will be back in just a little bit.
Awesome. So thank you guys for sharing all of your um, challenges. It looks like a lot of people have difficulty deploying, managing, uh, expanding their phone deployments, which makes a lot of sense, right? There's a lot of different solutions out there that aren't necessarily um, easy to manage or easy to deploy. And so I'm really excited that you guys have said all of that um, because that's really where we as Meraki are able to provide value to our customers. So I'm actually going to jump back into the dashboard and show you guys what the Canadian onboarding looks like. So here we go. This is the phone numbers page that I was alluding to earlier. Um, uh, I hear that we have some technical difficulties. Can you hear me? Can people hear me? Sorry guys, uh, quick technical difficulty there, but back to dashboard. So this is the, if you guys didn't know what I did, I just switched to new dashboard. So if you guys haven't seen new dashboard yet, this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful black sidebar. Um, our design team wanted to really streamline the user interface of dashboard. Anyway, um, I'm back on the phone numbers page. You can see this in your own networks uh, when you have phone networks as well. But the phone numbers page for Canadian customers looks like this. Telnex is our service provider. Um, you'll have your account details down there, um, your phone numbers that you own right in the middle. And so likely what's going to happen when you guys first start a Meraki um, phone deployment, you're going to see this page because you're not going to have any phone numbers. And you just press get new phone numbers. Say I want five in Toronto. And it's going to search. And what it's doing right now is actually doing a live search of all of Telnex's um, inventory. And so this is a live search of the provider's phone number inventory. And I can go in and say, in Toronto, I want five numbers. It'll search for only Toronto numbers. Let's say I want all of them. I'm just going to select them. You see that there's a pricing right next to it. And go in and review order. Um, the emergency 911 address where, you know, if you are having trouble but you and you can't speak but you call an emergency responder, they're going to get your, this address that you assign as well as a um, phone number that they can contact you at. But once I go in and fill out all of this, ooh, let's do this really quickly. Francisco, California. Uh, this is our office address. Um, I can also view the plan details for the payment. It's over here. But once I enter all of this, I can go in and press confirm order. It'll place my order automatically. And once that's done, it'll release those numbers to me. I'll have them in a few seconds. Oh, I need to go into my Telnex portal. Excuse me. Um, Telnex portal, which they will email you a link to and validate your credit card file. That's fine. So now I have these numbers and they will automatically reload this page every minute so that whenever my phone numbers are ready to be released to me, they'll appear on this page. When I go back into my phones, My phone numbers that I ordered once they're released will show up in this box, and I'll be able to assign them here. Awesome. So I'm actually, we're running out of time, unfortunately, so I'm going to jump back into the slides and uh, talk a little bit more. And if you guys have some questions at the end, what we can do is go back into the dashboard and show those additional features. So like I mentioned before, the Meraki MCs um, are really great at helping you preemptively solve your voice quality issues with our features like 
um, the dashboard call statistics, and et cetera. But what you really want to do is make sure that you know, your network is ready to support VoIP phones. So whatever switches that you have, Meraki MCs will work with them as long as they um, you know our internet switches. If they aren't PoE, you can get a power adapter. That's not a problem. You don't need Meraki switches to use Meraki phones. You can use them with any network switches. However, you want to go in on your switches and set something called quality of service. So on Meraki switches, it's very easy to do. On a lot of other switches, it's a lot more cumbersome. But this makes, you, makes it so that the switches will prioritize voice traffic and make sure that the voice traffic that's coming through on your phones is prioritized over things like network, or sorry, like Netflix or any kind of additional um, lower priority traffic. This is really great for providing kind of the best possible experience for your end users. Setting quality of service is very important in that sense. Additionally, the phones themselves have fully encrypted signaling and media. So any kind of configuration that goes down to the phone is encrypted through our secure tunnel, the Meraki, you know, proprietary tunnel. But additionally, any kind of um, call signaling, so call setup or call media, is also encrypted through SIP, or excuse me, through um, SRTP and TLS. So if you have any concerns about security, we are also, we're taking it very seriously. We're making sure that everything in your phone call is encrypted. Um, you don't need to set up a VPN, like I mentioned before. You just plug these directly into the internet, and we've secured everything without the need for a VPN. Lastly, there's a lot of different use cases, um, retail, commercial offices, teleworkers, small offices. The thing to remember about this phone is that it's all about use case, right? If you guys are concerned about quickly deploying and managing hundreds of phones, two phones, whether it's a growth rate, whether it's something that you just want it to be very easy and painless. The best place to use the MC is somewhere where you don't want to have to worry about a complicated phone deployment. You want to roll out the phones very quickly. You have a growing company. There's a lot of different use cases. If you have something very specific that you're not really sure, um, Meraki will be a right fit. I highly encourage you to call your sales rep. Your sales reps will be very excited to talk to you. Um, it's really kind of the best way for you to get customized support and customized help designing your network. And so please reach out to your sales reps. Um, I'm sure that they would love to talk to you guys. So we're actually coming on to the end of the presentation. And what I want to do at this time is really answer any of your questions that you guys have, as well as show anything in Dashboard that I didn't have the time to get to, um, but you guys are curious about. So please ask anything in the Q&A box. We have a little bit of time left to show it. And I will be back in just a second. Perfect. So we've had a couple questions, and I'd like to uh, just quickly address them right now. So yes, you can port numbers to Telmex. Um, right now, you do it in the Telmex portal. In the future, it'll be done right through Dashboard. It's very easy to do, uh, Telmex portal, et cetera. Um, for anybody who's trying a free trial, so if you call up your rep and say, hey, I want to try the phone, send me five, send me two. If you're trying a free trial, you will actually get free service from Telnex. I believe it's a $20 credit. Um, so you can try the phones 
with free service, absolutely free of charge. It's a great deal, guys. Um, I highly suggest you do it. Just call up your rep, say, you know, send me a couple phones. See it for yourselves. See it in your network. You know, there's really no better way to understand what this product is than to try it yourself. Um, we have some questions about adding other devices to this. So we at Meraki believe in a very tight hardware software integration, which means that to use our software and to use our dashboard, you will need to use our hardware. So you will need the MC74 phone to use in the MC74 network. You can't add other generic devices at this point. Um, need the phones and, you know, you need the phones to talk to other phones. Um, we do support headsets, so if you go in our documentation, there is a list of third-party headsets that we support. Um, additionally, so in addition to that list, there's also a bunch of other headsets that work and work great. Those are just the ones that we've tested so far. So if you have headsets in mind, if you have headsets that you already own, just try them out with the phone, see if they work. Um, we support the open standard for both USB 3.5 and Bluetooth headsets. So all headsets should work if they comply with the standard. Um, not every phone needs public numbers, so you can also set these phones up to be extension to extension only, and extension to extension calls within your network are free. So if you're calling from one MC to another and it's not going out to the PSTN, you don't have to pay for it. Um, the Telmex service is only for calls that go out to the PSTN. And Oh, I know I've been speed talking, and I believe we have two more minutes, so I'm actually just going to very quickly share dashboard again and go back to our phones page. And uh, what I'd like to show is our IVR menus. So we had a couple questions about this. IVR menus are what you hear when, you know, you call into a business and say, press one for this, press two for that. Um, you can set that up so easy by just pressing new IVR menu. Canadian webinar, and I can go in and set a public phone number. I would upload a audio file for my different greetings, um, and I can just go in and start adding menu options. So press one to hear my hours, press, or press one to hear our hours, press two to transfer to our receptionist, press three to um, transfer to our sales line, press 4 to transfer to our other offices IVR. So once I save all of this, it's ready to go, and it's really that easy just to set up an IVR. So thank you, everybody. Um, thank you so much for coming and listening to us. We're right at the top of the hour, and we're so excited to get you guys um, some MTs to teach you guys about this. Please feel free to join any of our other webinars if you have any additional questions, and please have a great rest of your day.